Hello, I'm Jeff Lindsay. Today I want to talk about intonation, in particular an important feature of English intonation that speakers of most other languages find really difficult. This is de-accenting, or saying a word, especially at the end of a phrase, without any accentuation. We can see this in compounds, which I mentioned in my previous video, where the second of two words loses its accent. So it's not airport, but airport. It's not Facebook, but Facebook. Not water polo, but water polo. Not press conference, but press conference. The most difficult thing here for so many non-native users of English is not where to put the accent, it's saying the final word in the phrase without any accent. Now, a very important function of English de-accenting is to indicate given information. Given information means an idea that's already in the mind, for example, a word that's just been said. Think about the way that James Bond introduces himself. He always says his surname twice, using two phrases. The first phrase is just the word Bond. The second phrase is James Bond. And this time Bond is a repetition. This means it's given information. And it's de-accented. It loses the accent it had in the first phrase. Now there has to be a main accent in every phrase, so in the second phrase the accent has to go on James, which is the new information in that phrase. So it's James Bond. It becomes like a compound. Airport. Press conference. James Bond. Bond. 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 James Bond. Most other languages don't work like this, and many non-natives find that it just doesn't come at all naturally to de-accent given information. They might quote the line as Bond, James Bond, and when the Bond films are dubbed into, say, Spanish, there may be more emphasis on the second Bond than there is in English. Bond. James Bond. An even more famous dramatic line has the same kind of repetition. To be or not to be. The words to be are repeated just like Bond. Now, this is by far the most famous line in English literature, so actors performing Hamlet often feel an obligation to say the line in some unexpected way. But when English speakers quote this line, we practically always de-accent the repetition. To be or not to be. This normal pattern is the one used by the actor David Tennant. To be or not to be. In Italian, to be or not to be is essere or non essere. If we look online for examples, it comes as no surprise to find that there's usually a nice big accent on the second essere. Essere or non essere. Essere or non essere. Essere. You may recall from my previous video that expressions ending in numbers have the main accent on that number, like MP3, High 5, 007, Apollo 13. Now it's possible to find exceptions to this, and one of these is R2D2. This name has the main accent not on the final number, but on the letter before it, R2D2. Why is this? The answer, of course, is that the final number is a repetition. R, then 2, then D, then 2 again. The second 2 is given information, and so de-accented. In this case, there's also a contrast between the two letters. So as well as the de-accenting of the repeated number 2, we also have the accenting of the contrasted letters, R2, D2. There's something similar to this in the way football scores are read out. Normally, the score of each team is accented. Arsenal 1, 
Liverpool 2. But there's an exception to this if the score is a draw. Why? Because the score is repeated. The repetition is given information and so is de-accented. Arsenal 1, Liverpool 1. Listen to this real example from the BBC and remember, when the scores are different, both are accented. But when it's a draw, the repetition is de-accented. Manchester City 2, Crystal Palace 3, Newcastle United 0, Fulham 0. So R2-D2 is a bit like a football score, but a score that's a draw. R2-D2. I hope you enjoyed this video. See what I did there? This video is given information. It's in the context. It's already on the mind, so I could de-accent it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about pronunciation or phonetics, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care. <laughs> essere, non essere.